Thank you so much for joining me. I just wanted to show you a few pictures and a very short video clip of dear brother Harren, who is our Kenyan indigenous mission leader in Western Kenya, Moisbridge, Kenya. And we just, after many years of prayer, opened up Uganda. As you can see, the bridge they took over the river there from Kenya to Uganda. And now you're going to see them there uh, as they walk across. And that's dear brother Harren coming across. Um, mm. We got a referral from one of our um, church I know that's a in the Moisbridge, one of the Moisbridge fellowships, uh, that he has a cousin or something like that in Uganda. And what a blessing oh, it has been. Um, we have a few fellowships there now over the past uh, couple months. People are hungry for the truth. There is witchcraft, there is lost Christianity like there is around the world. And so the first thing we did is immediately um, got them Bibles. When I said immediately, within 30 days we had to get some money to get them, of course. But you're going to see now a picture of these dear brethren with their Bibles. Um, and it's just such an incredible blessing. Uh, that these dear brethren have these Bibles. Um, the fellowships there are about as humble as you're going to get. There you see that they're gathering outside. This is a new fellowship. Sometimes it takes us years to build uh, a small, humble church, you know, mud building that only costs, you know, maybe $1,000 to build. But we're a very, very small ministry. So many times they'll meet under a tree uh, or they'll meet, um, you know, just out in the open. Um, so... It's just a huge blessing to be able to give the first step, which is the Holy Word of God. Amen. That's in Swahili, and we purchased those a few weeks ago. And now Brother Harren is there for two weeks, discipling the brethren and studying with um, all of them. He's going house to house this time. Uh, last time they had some uh, uh, elders there uh, that we have uh, come to find um, that have really risen up to want to learn the true Word of God, not the watered-down, lukewarm Word, which... Most of this uh, world preachers are not mixing in um, Islam or Hinduism or some other type of ism or, you know, religion and, uh, you know, make Jesus mold into the religion that the, you know, of the village or whatever. No, this is the true word of God that uh, Brother Harren uh, has preached to them and that they have accepted. So this is the next step in getting the true word of God to them. You know, we've had many reports that this is the first time in these people's lives, just about all of them, uh, the first time they've ever had a Bible in their hand. These people literally make about one to two dollars per day, and of course, ninety plus percent of that goes to food. Okay. Um, another thing we just found out too, as you continue to look at these beautiful pictures of the Bibles, is that in the third world, uh, whether it's Kenya, Uganda, or wherever, Ethiopia, or and just about anywhere in Africa, especially, the widows, and that this is going to be shocking to some of you, but the widows are literally thrown out of the family. When a woman becomes a widow, they actually have to pay money to the family or they get evicted from their own home. They get evicted from the village. And this is what has happened to over four people that we found so far in our new fellowships here. So we're praying to build... Um, a beautiful uh, small mud hut for them. There's, there's, there's four um, um, widows that we have identified right now that have been kicked out of their own homes by their own families because of cultural reasons. I know that's about... It, people in America in the first world have no idea um, the suffering that goes on in this world. You know, 21,000 children die every day from man-made poverty. Look at that precious child. First time ever holding a Bible. And 9,000 adults die every day of man-made poverty too. They don't have enough nutrition. They starve to death. They don't have clean water. They don't have medicine, etc. So I ask you to please, as this uh, year of 2020 comes to a conclusion, that you will please open up your heart and also open up your finances to help these precious, precious widows and the fellowships and the brethren in general. You can see here that uh, we're humbly requesting only about 500 US dollars to build a house. The, the top part of this letter is uh, what the brethren there can provide, all the labor, the land, um, pieces of uh, you know windows and timber. And then below, we have to buy 
33 pieces of uh, iron sheets, you know, for the roof, nails, and etc. Just very, very little bit. It comes out to about $411.50. It's 100 to 1 there, so it's 41150 but it's really, uh, you know, $411.50 basically. And plus some ancillary cost too, so I'm going to say about $500 total. Thank you for watching, and to Jesus be all the glory. Amen.